Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound channel. In the comments to my last Fuzz Face video that I put up, um, Sarah posed the question, what would the guitar look like through an oscilloscope? Um, she did suggest that it, it might not work because the guitar is a passive uh, output. Well, yes and no. The guitar I'm using, this one, uh, it's a Jackson Dinky, is passive in that there's no power supply it is simply the pickups and passive volume and tone controls but it's not technically completely passive because what happens when you pluck the strings the vibration of the strings causes interference in the magnetic field in the pickups which in turn causes a current to flow in the coils in the pickups which is the voltage that goes out and gets amplified as your guitar sound so there is actually electrons shooting down copper wires even on a on a passive electric guitar so in theory I should be able to feed that stream of electrons into my cheap little oscilloscope and see what the output from the guitar actually looks like. Now there's no amplification, I've plugged the guitar straight into the oscilloscope, nothing else, so nobody can hear this picking up on the mic. But that's it, it's just a tinny electric guitar going into an oscilloscope and no amplification. So what we'll do, we'll have a close-up of the oscilloscope, I'll play through things on the guitar and we'll see what the waveform looks like. Here we are close up on the scope. Um, it might not be in really sharp focus because uh, my webcam is fairly basic. Um, it's not <laughs> but it'll be good enough to see if we actually get a waveform out of my passive electric guitar um, plugged directly into the oscilloscope. Um, I don't think you can see on the top all I've done, there it is, it's, I've used a, a jack socket and connected the oscilloscope to it so it's, it's yeah, it's as direct as it gets. Right, enough rambling, let's start with a few chords and see what the output looks like. Well, yeah, we're, we're definitely getting an output into the oscilloscope there, and uh, it's actually quite a complicated waveform. Okay, let's try it with some single notes. What I'll do, I'll, I'll start down low, go up high, and then work my way back down again. So, here we go. Well, that last uh, note was the very bottom E on 
the electric guitar, so I can't get any lower than that on this particular guitar. Um, I do have a one, two, three octave on this one. This is a so that's E, 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 E. So however many octaves that was, we went down. But that's that's the maximum that this guitar will do. And yeah. So there you go. Guitar directly into oscilloscope. Well, I hope that answered Sarah's question. It's great. I love these questions because when she asked that question, I thought to myself, "Ooh, I wonder," because I've not actually done this before. So yeah, spark my curiosity, and maybe I'll do a video that answers your curiosity. So thank you, Sarah. This was interesting. <laughs>